from perfume and cologne to makeup and hair products, it's a bummer when companies discontinue the beauty products that you love. Yeah, consumer expert Amy Davis this morning showing us one way you might be able to snatch up those items before they're, well, totally gone Give us forever. the good news, Amy. Yes. I know, because you know that feeling when a lipstick that you've been using forever is just gone. The company stops making it, but not so fast because one major company says it may be gone, but it's not forgotten. You might think you don't use any Estee Lauder products, but there's a good chance you do. It is one of the world's leading manufacturers of beauty products, and it owns nearly 30 brands like Clinique, Bobbi Brown, Origins, Bumble and Bumble, DKNY, Smashbox, and Mac. And if you're looking for a discontinued product for any Estee Lauder brand, the company will help you search for it. The program is called Gone But Not Forgotten, and it claims our team will search high and low for a discontinued product, and if they find it, you can purchase up to six pieces. The prices are the same as what you used to pay in store, plus shipping. It's not high tech. You simply send an email of the brand and product you need, along with your shipping address and contact information. An Estee Lauder representative will call you if they find what you need to get your credit card information. Move quickly when you notice an item you want is discontinued. The program only searches for products they stopped carrying within the last 36 months. All right, so we have posted the link to Gone But Not Forgotten on clicktohouston.com and also a link for another website that sells discontinued drugstore beauty brands like L'Oreal and Revlon. But Estee Lauder is the only company we could find that actually has a program where it helps you search for items that it is no longer marketing or selling in store. So it's mm -hmm. pretty cool. Yeah, I'm surprised they do that. But yeah, I, I mean, wonder they, where they find it, like in an old warehouse well, or so some I other Well, so I tried it. I tried it with what? two viewers. I said, tell me products that you're looking for. They told me, and, then, and it took like, it was like a two-week process. Wow. They like yeah. took the information. They so they look in back inventory. They check department stores that still have them that are you know just in boxes. But after three years, they say that's it because you know really they expire. Sure. And did we're they find them, them for the viewers? They did not find them for those two viewers. It was like Aramis it was a pricey cologne, but it had been discontinued for like five oh, years. Oh goodness, that's old yeah. school. Yeah, and then another one. So I was like, <laughs> oh, I wanted to like bring the products to the people for the story, but better luck. It's not Hopefully perfect, but luck. you try. You know, Might if it's well that important, yeah. yeah. that's right. customer service right there. Right, exactly. Yeah, that's true. Thanks, Amy. Thanks.